Tonight, the King County unit that prosecutes elder abuses are tackling a problem that has tripled in the last decade. Thanks for being with us at 7. I'm Steve Solis. I'm Joyce Taylor. As King 5's Natalie Swaby reports tonight, the county's cracking down on the scammers going after older residents. One way prosecutors are combating it is by raising awareness. They say nationwide financial scams cost older Americans more than $28 billion per year. Locally, investigators are sharing a couple of the big scams they've seen recently. We hear from our uh, victims uh, a lot of shame and embarrassment and self-blame. Um, they see things like, I feel so stupid for falling for that scam. Prosecutors and call it an underreported problem. And we really have not been talking about that the way we need to be. Senior Deputy Prosecuting Attorney Paige Ulrey says when it comes to elder abuse, last year across the state there were more than 65,000 reports. Of those, nearly 13,000 occurred in King County. And one of the county's recent cases involved Giorgio Stevens, who pleaded guilty to scamming 17 victims. What he would typically do is wait for an, an older person to pull into a grocery store parking lot. Prosecutor Eileen Alexander says he would tell them something was wrong with their car, then offer to fix it while they did their grocery shopping. And all this time, he is charming them and chatting with them and engaging with them and they wouldn't even realize that they left their debit card with him. According to investigators, Stevens was caught on camera cashing in at ATMs and was sentenced to two years in prison. In another pending case, a Seattle woman is charged with more than 40 counts of identity theft after allegedly finding victims in the phone book, posing as an investigator who just detected fraud, and telling people if they gave her their information, she could intervene. The defendant would then turn around, use that information, immediately calling the bank and posing then as the victim. Prosecutors say that led to unauthorized transfers to her account. The people who are being victimized are, are our parents and our grandparents and our friends, and they will be us in the future. And as a society, you know, we, we care. I hope we care about that. We the pending case was filed in August, and a Seattle woman pleaded not guilty. Now, prosecutors say they work with 39 police agencies in King County, and the most common type of elder abuse that's reported to them are financial exploitation and neglect. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.